Hello and welcome everyone to uh, my lesson on Trump tweets. So in this lesson, we're going to be doing uh, having a bit of fun with LSTMs, uh, which is the recursive neural nets for deep learning. So uh, let's get started. So in, in today's lesson, the data set is a whole bunch of Trump tweets that I've managed to download from a, a website, which I will put the reference to. But um, yeah, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you the pre-processing steps, right? So we're going to read in the data as so. And the thing with tweets is that there's a bunch of retweets which aren't Trump's words. So we're going to discard the discard those. So we're setting retweet equals false. And just notice that this is a string. And then you uh, lowercase the string. We want to get rid of URLs, which is what all these regex, well, the first regex is. Uh, get rid of everything but uh, letters and punctuation. And the last thing is replace multiple white spaces. Okay, now the the thing is with, with this particular data set, it, it was a bit noisy in the sense that there were some tweets that were uh, bigger than 140 characters. I'm not entirely sure why, but because of that, I've restricted the length to be less than 180 instead of 140 and uh, restricted the smallest tweet to be greater than 50 characters in length. So these are some of the tweets that you can see, uh, which is typical Trump, right? So uh, fake news, so if you look over here, fake news media, uh, one of Trump's favorite topics. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's let's move on. So now to get to the deep learning part, one thing that we really need to do is change characters into numbers. We can't actually feed in uh, a character on itself, right? So what we're doing over here is we're creating a dictionary. So each uh, we take all possible characters by the set thing, and then we're converting it to a number. Okay, so that's char to int, and then we get a reverse dictionary call int to char. Okay, but in case we want to convert it back, which we will later on. So um, now that we have that, what we're going to be, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, creating this giant array. Okay, so text to, text num, uh, which basically I've created this go character and an end character. Don't worry about it too much. I was actually thinking of something else when I was when I was doing that, but basically this is the important part: char to int of each character for each character in the tweet, for all the tweets and Trump tweets, okay? Um, this is just a, a plot of a histogram of the length of all the tweets, okay? So so you get that, it's not really necessary for what we're doing over here. Um, okay, so now here, here we go. Uh, we, we get into the part where we're going to be putting this into an LSTM. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to say a, a particular sentence length. By sentence length, what I mean is how many characters are we going to input into the LSTM. So in this particular case, I've chosen 40. Okay, so 40 to be uh, the number of letters. Um, and then what we what we what I've created here is x and y. So uh, x is going to be n by sentence length, and y is also going to be n by sentence length. So what do I what do I mean by that? What we're going to be what we're going to be doing in this particular lesson is we're going to be creating what we call a many-to-many -many LSTM. Okay, so think of the vocab. Uh, sorry, the A to Z. So in this case, if I put in A, I'll be predicting B. If I put in B, I'll be predict predicting C, and if I put in C, I'll be predicting D. Okay, what's what's really important that you try and uh, that you try and understand is that um, I'm actually predicting A, B, C. I'm sorry, I'm inputting A, B, C, and simultaneously I want to uh, output B, C, D. Okay, so again, at the same time I'm putting A, B, C, and the output should be uh, B, C, D. Okay, so it's it's doing three characters to three characters. Like one other way of doing many to many to one, it, it would it would look like this. This it would go A, B, C, and right at the end it would just have D. Okay, so, so that's what, in this case, well, we're using a many-to-many -many LSTM. And I'll talk about the rationale right towards the end. Okay, so let's, let's not burden ourselves with that. So, um, looking at x, what x will end up being is uh, we're going to take each, for, for each tweet, uh, we're going to be taking from i to i plus sentence length. So, basically, whatever index it, it's at, it's going to go that plus 40. Okay, and similarly for y, y is just the same tweet, just offset by one. Okay, so keep in mind where we're what we're trying to do is for each character that we put in, we're we're trying to predict the next character that comes along. Okay, 
Um, this wide reshape thing, it, it's a necessary, I suppose, necessary evil for LSTMs, but um, yeah, I just couldn't get it to work without having this last uh, one. So if I look at my wide, wide dot shape, so I've already run this, um, wide dot shape is actually n by 40. So keep in mind, 40 is the length that I chose each sentence to be, and by one. Okay, so this one thing is actually called uh, the number of features. Okay, so uh, so for example, if I had uh, if I was predicting multiple like financial stocks, um, this will be say Apple, Microsoft, uh, whatever the stock is, it'll it'll be that feature. Forty is the time the time step, and this over here is n. Or when you're doing batches, it's it's a batch size. Okay, all right. So let's let's move on. Uh, so many to many LSTMs. Um, here we go. So we have the usual sequential. The first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an embedding layer. Okay, so each uh, each letter is going to be represented by 64 characters. That's what it's saying. So the length of the vocabulary is going to each each character has 64 uh, numbers to be representing it. So once it goes through that, uh, I'm going to be putting it through an LSTM layer which again there's 64 nodes. I didn't have to choose 64, I could have chosen something else. It's really important that you put return sequences uh, is true. That's how you do a many-to-many many many LSTM. So uh, two things that's, that's important. When, you're, uh, when you want all your, uh, if all your hidden outputs to go out, you must put return sequences. Let me, let me uh, just uh, clarify what I mean by that. So if I didn't return, put return sequences equals true, what's going to happen is um, I only have access to this very last hidden, uh, hidden layer, okay? So or rather hidden output. Um, if as soon as I put return sequences true, I get all all three blue lines. Otherwise, I only get the last one. All right. So uh, coming back here now, because I'm getting all of them, I do want I do want to uh, push it onto to a, a, like a softmax layer, but I want each of them to be having this softmax layer. Okay, so let, let me clarify this thing again. So um, what, what happens with time distributed is that if I didn't have time distributed, um, what will happen is that the dense layer will only get applied to the very last one. Okay, and that's the problem. We want the dense layer to be applied to each and every single cell, or, or rather the, each and every hidden output. Okay, so we get a softmax layer for each and each and every one of them. Now, why are we using softmax? So keep in mind the, the problem statement that we're having is for given for each given character, try and predict the next character. Right? So because we are predicting character, it's a multiple class classification problem. And we know that what with multiple class classification, it's always the softmax um, th that we need as the last activation layer. Okay, so if, if you're not too sure about that, go to my previous videos where we talk about that. Okay, and then the loss, so the rest of it is, is exactly the same as any other multiple class classification problem. You do the same same loss function, optimizes whatever you want to choose, and I, I chose Adam. Okay, and then you go ahead and train it. Okay, so really pay attention to what I talked about over here. Go back in the video and listen to it again if you don't, didn't quite understand it, but let's, let's keep going. Okay, so now that I had that, um, I'm going to go ahead and train it. Well, actually, I'm training, and I'm going to, at the same time, I'm going to be predicting a sentence. And what I mean by a sentence is it's going to be 150 character length sentence, not 40. It's 150 characters. So let me let me uh, explain what I what I mean by that. So right at the right at the beginning, the model is not trained. It's completely random weights. Uh, keeping that in mind, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to predict uh, a letter one letter at a time. Okay, so I'm going to predict one letter, append it, and then move on to the next one. Okay, so uh, so by so by the second when i equals say three, this np dot array of letter is three characters long. When i is five, it'll be five characters long, and so forth. Okay, and I'm going to be predicting. I'll I'll talk about why I'm I'm I keep on appending uh, at this point um, in, in a bit. But, uh, but for now, just keep in mind, all I'm doing is I'm predicting a probability. I'm not predicting the character straight away. I'm predicting a probability. So, and then when I get to the append part, I'm going to be appending um, a character according to that probability. 
Okay, so l l let me let me explain what I'm what I mean by according to the probability. So np.random.choice, what it does is in this case it's gonna it's gonna be predicting 20 numbers from five given this probability. Okay, so again it's it's gonna be predicting 20 numbers from five given these numbers. So it, when I say five, I mean uh, zero, zero all the way through to four, okay, because the way that Python is indexed. But l looking at this, the probability of zero is 90%, the probability of one is 10%, and er everything else is zero. Okay, so when you look at this array, you will not see two, three, or four, okay, because of this probability. So coming back to this thing, what we're doing is we're, we're predicting one character, okay, we're predicting one character at random. And the reason we choose it at random rather than just going for the biggest probability is because um, if you choose the biggest probability, you will always generate the same text. And we don't want to do that. We want some randomness in this. Okay, so I always say that the first, the very first letter is going to be go. All right, so I want, I want this, my tweet generated to, to uh, go ahead and predict a random tweet. Okay, and which I say is 150 characters in length. All right, so yeah. Um, so the rest of it is basically Python jargon, I guess, uh, to just join sentence, blah, blah, blah. And then the last thing, of course, um, after, I well, after I predict the um, predict that 150 character length uh, tweet, I go ahead and train it, okay? So keep in mind, over here, I'm only training it for one epoch, all right? So the batch size is 1024 and the model x xy. So this part, you should be, you really should be used to it, okay? Now... I'm going to be uh, training it for, in this case, seven epochs. Uh, is it seven? Yeah, so for, for seven epochs, it's, it's going to be training. All right. So let's let's look at what it's, what it's output. Um, so in the beginning, it's complete garbage, right? So you, you don't quite understand what this tweet is about. And that's because I hadn't done in training the, the, the weights are random. So after one epoch, we start to see, hey, there's some, some words appearing. It's, it's starting to do one, uh, one space. And then after the period it's got a space so it's, it's actually starting to understand um, sentence structures okay which is which is quite uh, quite interesting and I mean is the the most common words in the English language are actually uh, starting to uh, pop up quite quite frequently okay so it's, it's starting to do fairly well now the the more that we train it's starting to generate more uh, tweet based things like going at someone right so these are Twitter handles and uh, yeah and uh, you you see something a bit more interesting. So this this real thing is it's it's trying to say real real Donald Trump, which is Donald Trump's uh, Twitter handle. Okay, so um, yeah, so hey Donald Trump over there. We've got hashtags right at the end. Okay, so uh, so yeah, so we we generate we generate uh, a decent amount given the time. Hey, and it's starting to say America, because America is of course uh, Donald Trump's uh, favorite thing. Make Trump uh, make America great again. Yeah, right. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's, let's move on. So uh, good practice, it's always save the model. Okay, so model.save, you got to save this thing. One key thing that you need to remember is you have to save the dictionary as well. And the reason that you do that is, for, for some reason, um, Python doesn't uh, make this dictionary quite random. Every time you run, run this notebook, it gives you a different dictionary. Okay, so you, you need to make sure you, you, uh, you save the dictionary as well. Okay, uh, let's let's go on, and this is uh, loading the weight. So I, I, I loaded it onto model two, uh, just to show that they're exactly the same thing. So over here, over here, I'm not training; I'm just predicting. So over here, I'm I'm going to be I predicted thirty random, uh, thirty random tweets all together. Now, take this with with uh, a little bit of yeah. So uh, it's not perfect, right? So given the amount of time that I trained it for. Uh, which was about 20 minutes. Um, it, it's not perfect, uh, but like it, the, the more that you train, like you probably will get a much much better representation than me. But at the same time, it's it's a decent thing. Okay, so um, yeah, the words don't have to make sense just yet. Okay, uh, yeah. So if I so some of the funny stuff that I saw, if I look for let me just look for Hillary, uh, Hillary. Yeah. So um, Congregation Obama Hillary, like some something that he he would be saying, and over here it's got uh, hey like something onto 
uh, is that million or billion that's oh sorry 100 that's 12 million today so he made 12 million I, I, I don't know so he's obviously tapping into the kind of things that uh, mr. Trump would say so uh, yeah uh, and um, so if you keep going you might you might find some other funny stuff but let, let me skip down right down to the end of this notebook so um, one thing one other thing that I can do is I, c I can give it um, so I can give it the first few characters okay so in this case I, I said white supremacists are actually I'm going to come come back to this because this, this is my, my favorite one so I'll come back to this um, so one of the crappier ones is I said Obama is and I, and I was I was expecting him to swear okay so Obama is Dana of Thorne now obviously this is not English it's it's trying to spit out something but uh, at the same time Trump always tries to spit out something so hey does it need to make sense it sounds like something he would say right all right so let's let's move on and uh, I resigned something that we all really want to hear but does he resign no of course not he goes on to say resignald for so um, yeah and last thing um, so coming back to white supremacists are and, and I generated the next 150 characters from there white supremacists are friend holy shit man like he actually said they're friends um, so we're tapping into his personality over here uh, good job so that's the end of the lesson um, now I know I covered a lot of a lot of things here but please do go and play with the notebook um, all the details are there you can play yourself I did run this on a GPU but um, you should be able to run this on your laptop and train you do need to train for uh, a couple of hours to get get a decent uh, decent result right so um, so yeah anyway so good luck uh, well, play uh, play around with this notebook if you have any questions or comments please, please let me know subscribe star my repository I will put the code up but please please uh, start the repository that's quite important and uh, thanks for watching